Hi everyone, my name is Un and I'm a co-founder and CEO of Dahlia Biosciences. And we are harnessing CRISPR technology in a novel way to develop the next generation of cell and tissue analysis for precision medicine. If you can't measure it, you can't improve it. And without accurate and reproducible biomarker analysis, there is no precision medicine. In recent years, the number of clinical trials incorporating biomarkers has been growing exponentially. And it's expected that the market for tools to measure biomarkers in our bodies will reach nearly 12 billion in a couple of years. Now, while there's been an explosion of genomic information driven by next generation sequencing that's connected DNA and RNA changes to disease and treatment response, this is often done on variable and bulk clinical samples. There's a bottleneck in actually translating what these changes mean in specific cell types and at the tissue level. And this is very important in order to effectively translate genomic biomarkers from discovery into drug development and ultimately the clinic. Our vision is to bridge the gap between genomics and cell analysis. And by using CRISPR-Cas9 technology, we can create a scalable and efficient way to detect any DNA or RNA biomarker directly in cells and tissues. Some of you may already know about CRISPR-Cas9. It's already used by thousands of labs today as a simple gene editing technology to make very specific changes to the DNA inside your cells. The beauty of Cas9 is that the binding specificity of the enzyme can be easily changed by simply designing and synthesizing a new synthetic guide RNA, which the enzyme complexes with, in a week's time. This is in contrast to months and months of protein engineering that only a few select labs could do with previous technologies. So our idea is to take the advantages of Cas9 as a nucleic acid targeting tool and redirect it and apply it to directly detect DNA and RNA biomarkers directly in cells and tissues. Importantly, Cas9 has already been demonstrated to uh, bind RNA both in vitro and in live cells by leading academic research labs. The RNA targeting Cas9 technology was developed in the lab of Jennifer Doudna at UC Berkeley, and we've secured an exclusive license for research tools and diagnostic applications for the underlying IP. So how will this technology actually translate into the real world? Well, the bulk of cell and tissue analysis today is done using flow cytometers and microscopes that can detect fluorescently labeled biomarkers directly in cells and tissues. Our detection kits will be compatible with these existing instruments and workflows. Importantly, we will also be compatible with protein detection protocols, which means we will be able to detect DNA, RNA, and protein changes at the same time with single cell resolution. As initial proof of concept, we applied our technology to the detection of DNA telomeres inside human cells. DNA telomeres are repetitive sequences that are found at the end of your chromosomes that decrease as your cells divide. And in recent years, there's been thousands of publications studying the length of your DNA telomeres and how it's connected to aging, longevity, and other types of diseases. The picture that you see here are cells that we took that we fixed permeabilized and stained with our fluorescently tagged Cas9 probe designed to target DNA telomeres. And you can see very specific staining of these regions as illustrated by the punctate dots in the cell nucleus of these cells, which are stained in blue. Importantly, we also validated that we can measure the increased fluorescence from these cells using flow cytometry against a negative control assay. DNA telomeres will be the first of many applications on our roadmap. Over the last couple of weeks, we've signed a couple of pilot agreements and have a third in the pipeline based on simply word of mouth. Our next steps here is to continue to optimize these assays in preparation for a launch, either as a service or a product by the end of the year. Beyond DNA, we're excited about expanding the analytical breadth of our technology to the detection of RNA biomarkers, in particular high-value targets that are important for immuno-oncology and oncology drug development applications. Our business model is very simple and scalable. 
we will sell very high margin DNA and RNA detection kits directly to the end customer. The average consumable spend per customer is expected to be on the tens of thousands of dollars per year, and there's tens of thousands of addressable customers. From a process standpoint, the customer would simply go online to submit their order, which we will then receive, design the assays, manufacture, kit, and ship back the reagents back to the customer in a matter of weeks. Versus competing technologies, we will offer the shortest and simplest workflow, which means faster time to data and less opportunity for mistakes. Importantly, we believe we have the headroom to scale our multiplex, which means to be able to detect many more DNA and RNA changes versus existing techniques. I'm really proud to be part of a great team to execute against this opportunity. I've known my co-founder, Michael Lin, for nearly a decade, and he and I have nearly 30 years of combined experience in the research tools and diagnostic space. In addition, we're excited to have recruited Alan Chan to the team. Alan and I have known each other for over 15 years when we gra attended graduate school together, and he recently completed postdoctoral training at Mount Sinai Hospital on a very advanced tissue imaging technology. In addition, we have a strong scientific advisory board led by my other co-founder, Dr. Sam Sternberg, a co-inventor of the RNA targeting Cas9 technology and a former graduate student of Jennifer Doudna. Sam and I most recently worked together at Caribou Biosciences, a leading CRISPR-Cas gene editing technology company. In addition, we have Alex Shalek from MIT Broad, a leader in single-cell genomics. And finally, Dr. Jared Brooks, from MD Anderson, one of the top cancer research institutes in the country, and he has strong expertise in both advanced imaging and cytometry technologies. Over the past few months here at IndieBio, we've made a lot of progress, both technically as well as securing foundational IP for our target applications. Our next milestones will be to launch the DNA telomere assays and to improve our technology for the detection of RNA biomarkers directly in cells and tissues with a goal of launching early access products by next year. We're seeking two and a half million dollars to fund this next exciting phase of our company. I look forward to speaking with many of you afterwards. Thank you.